Hey everyone, so I'm starting to realize that I think 6.30 or 7 p.m. is my favorite time to be in the garden because one, if it's hot during the day, it's not as hot now, and the sun is actually starting to go behind the trees, so there's just kind of a nice like evening glow in the garden. So what I'm gonna be doing tonight is something that I have been looking forward to, and that is decorating this cart behind me. Now, I'm sure that what I'm putting up there might not stay there the entire season or might not be the permanent place. I might switch some things in and out, but some of the stuff is gonna be growing, so like growing on the cart, so I'm not really gonna be able to move it around. So I'll kind of show you first, I guess what's already over there. You can see my morning glory, and then take you around the other plants that I decided to get for around the cart, and then we will get them all in place. So here's a look at the space right now. So I emptied everything off of the cart. I do have my garbage can back there and I've been contemplating if I want to keep it here or if I want to move it to the back deck because I don't create really a ton of waste on a regular basis. I mean, most of the time if I'm like removing pieces of a plant, I just put that back into the soil to break down. There's not a lot of like garbage that I feel like I'm creating up here. So I was thinking about moving this to the back deck and having like a small decorative bucket, but then I don't know if I'll find it frustrating or not. So I'm gonna leave this here for now. I mean, it does kind of blend in a bit because it's a black garbage can. Um, and then here is the cart and over here is the morning glory that I was originally intending to leave inside. And then I got irritated with it being there and I kicked it outside. Um, I've had this here for probably a few weeks and it wasn't finding its way to the cart. So I kept like trying to put the vines around the cart on its own, they wouldn't stick, they'd fall off. They were wrapping around the cage, but finally now, you can see that the vines of the morning glory have found their way to the cart. And then there's another one here that's just barely getting over there. So I'm hoping this kind of takes over soon. And I believe, so I had two different varieties of morning glory, one with a deeper purple flower and one with a lighter blue flower. I feel like this is the lighter blue flower one. I probably should have, you know, written that down somewhere. Then over here are the plants that I'm planning to put either on or around the cart. I have my two ferns here and I was told, because this is my first time growing ferns, I was told to look out for any sort of like crispiness on the leaves in case they're getting too much sun. So far it's been okay, but I feel like since I put these out we've had more of like the 50 degree days and not a lot of the 80 degree days, so I'll kind of see how they do. Speaking of that just in general. So the sun over here, we don't usually start getting sun in this cart till I'd say maybe around one or two in the afternoon and then it stops getting sun when it goes behind the trees. So I'm kind of gonna see how the part shade plants, the plants that need full sun, how those all do. Speaking of that, two that like full sun are these petunias here. So these I've had also sitting on the cart and they seem to be doing okay with the amount of sun that it's getting. Um, so I'm planning to put those there as well. If I have to move them later, I will. I just got this this past weekend. Um, this is called Tick Seed Nana. It's a perennial, so I can either try to overwinter it in this pot or I can plant it potentially down the parkway. I feel like I keep saying that and I'm going to run out of space in the parkway to plant things. But I really like this just because of kind of the whimsical growth of it. I mean, there's just like kind of branches splaying out in different places and I just thought that was really pretty. Then I have two of these. So these are the Neon Rose Calabracoa and I was planning originally to put these in the two pots in front of my raised beds. Let me actually just show you what I mean. Um, so these two pots right here, but the violas are still looking fine and I might just leave them there. So I think I'm gonna keep those up on the cart behind me and leave this pot with those. If they start to putter out, then I can find something else to plant in there. This bag of soil also needs to go behind the flower cart as well. That's kind of where I store everything. Back over here then I also have some of this, what is it, clear crystal white alyssum. This is my first time growing alyssum. I know that it spreads, but I also know that I can't not fill a container. So I got a pack of four. I put three in here. I think I'm going to put this in the center of the cart. I wanted something that didn't get too tall because I am planning to put like 
watering cans or any other sort of tools. I don't leave a ton of my tools outside just because of the rain and they will rust. Um, but anything I leave outside, I'm planning to put in the cart as well. So I don't want something that is going to be too tall and block me from reaching what I need to reach. So then I put the fourth of the three in this one. And I think this is what's going to go in the center of this table. Then I have another fern here. And then I have two pots that I have... Oh, why am I blanking on the name? Nasturtiums. That I have my nasturtiums in here that were originally in the rose plant over there. So I'm just going to start by placing what I know I want and then we'll go from there. I also wanted to show you a really cool product that I was hoping I would be able to use on my cart and I've realized that now I'm not going to be able to but I have other places that I can use it instead. Um, but it's this little contraption which is called a plant trap. So. I think I saw it on a random Instagram post. I ordered it in the winter and then they've really blown up on Instagram since. So you might've seen this already, um, but how it works is it's in order for you to plant things kind of outside of your balcony rail um, so that you don't have things taking up space on your balcony, but also they're more visible from the outside. So ideally, if I could use it on my cart, I would be able to stick it under this railing here. This ledge would come out. I would put a pot on the ledge and then I would use this to stick into the pot and hold it in place so that it doesn't get blown away with any wind or tip over. The reason I can't use it is because in order to slide it under, I'm getting stopped by this like decorative bar here. So that goes all the way around. There's no way for me to use it, but I was excited to if I could because then, you know, that saved me even more space inside the cart. So I could put a pot here. I was planning to do the pot of the Super Tunias. Pot here, spilling down all that empty space still inside the cart. But like I said, I have another space for these out front that I'll probably use them there. Um, so anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the cart and I like to do this kind of in the same way I do gardening in general, where if I know 100% sure where I wanna put something, I'm gonna put it there first and then the things that I don't really know, I'll kind of go from there and find a place for them after. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there are apparently only four plants that I know 100% where I want them to go. But like I said, the alyssum here in the middle, I think that'll be nice kind of spilling over, not being too tall here in the center. I'll probably put like some watering cans or something around it as well. The tick seed here, is it tick seed? Tickle seed? Tick seed. Um, back here, I like that because again, it's a bit taller. It's in a taller pot. And I think that'll complement kind of the blue flowers nicely that'll be growing up, hopefully along there and over and then I have my two super tunias right here now like I said I would have ideally liked to have them on the outside of the cart with that plant trap but it's just not going to work with the design of the cart um so next I'm going to figure out what I want to do with these ferns because I think I showed it in another video or here I'll actually just do it right now if I hang the fern, it's just way too big for the space. It's not high enough of where I'd want it. And so I don't think that's going to work. It'd be in the way if I was reaching in for anything. So I think I'm going to use the ferns. One, maybe down here in the like front of the cart. Ooh, maybe even in front of the morning glory pot to kind of hide the pot itself. And then another one, because I don't want everything to be 100% symmetrical. So another one either up front here maybe on the side to block the garbage can or potentially inside of it. So I'm going to play around with that, but I know the first thing I need to do is remove these plastic hangers from the baskets.
Now I am gonna save these hooks because I might change my mind with the ferns and wanna hang them somewhere, but also they have little clips like this. So I could clip these onto another basket as well. Obviously nothing too heavy because these aren't the sturdiest hooks in the world, but if I have another plastic basket, I can use these to hang them. So I'm gonna keep these in my garden closet for now. So I said I didn't want too much symmetry and then I went with the symmetrical option. So I know I like that fern there. I tried that fern under here, which I do like, but I think as far as plants that can handle the shade in this corner and kind of help to, when you can still see the garbage can, but camouflage it, I think the fern is gonna be the best bet. Plus, I think I know what I want to put on the bottom here, which leads me to the fact that I have now repotted these poor nasturtiums three times. So the rose pot, this pot, and now in this pot, because I wanted to use this pot, which is shorter and a bit smaller diameter for the flower cart. So I planted these two in here, and I think that's what I'm gonna put on the bottom of the flower cart, kind of trailing over onto the ground. I think I'm set, and I think I like it. I'm trying not to overcrowd it, even though it still feels a little bit empty because I know these flowers are gonna grow in. It's just hard to tell myself that at the beginning of the season. Um, but again, I imagine these trailing down these super tunias here so that you can't even hopefully really see the pots anymore. Same thing with the alyssum in the center. That'll start to kind of trail over. I'll have the morning glory growing along the top. The calabrocoa here, what I'm hoping happens is that this also starts to trail and then trails through the spokes of the wheels. I think that would be really pretty. And then I just put this pot of poppies here, which I originally in the video planted them too close together just to see how they did. I will probably have to thin some of these. We'll see how they continue to grow, but I think these will get at least a couple feet tall. So they'll kind of start to grow up, hopefully, to the top of the shelf. And then I just put my two watering cans in there for now. What I would really love to do is find some sort of like old antique watering cans, maybe like a copper metal to kind of go with everything else in here or like a silver metal at some sort of thrift store. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. So that's gonna be everything for today. I hope you found that fun to watch. Um, I know that I did. Sometimes it's interesting to see. I feel like how other people decorate stuff and kind of take some ideas from that. If there's anything you think I should add to this, let me know as well. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.